Hello, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical and today I'm taking a look at the new Condor Thermal Monocular with LRF from Hike Micro. The Falcon has built a reputation for a really high quality image and an affordable price point and that's going to be continued here with the Condor series. That sub 20 net desensor means you're going to get a really detailed image giving you loads of information not just about the heat source but also anything that's surrounding it which makes it easier to locate. You're seeing branches and grass and other information from the picture. It's also going to perform better in really harsh conditions. So if it's raining or there's fog, that extra sensor detail is going to really shine through. The first thing that you notice when you pick the Condor up is the high build quality. It uses a magnesium alloy chassis and it feels really solid in your hands. The Condor is also more compact than some previous models and it will fit easily in your hands it's really ergonomic and comfortable to use either with one hand or you can wrap a second around to make it even steadier. It also fits easily into a pocket and it's lightweight and easy to carry all day. So let's take a look through the features of the Condor. Starting from the front, we've got the thermal camera lens. This has the focus ring built around it. This is the 35mm focal length, so it's one of the smaller lenses in the range. We also do this with a 50mm focal length and that's got a slightly bigger lens and a 25mm which obviously is a bit smaller and more compact. Underneath that we've got the 1000m laser rangefinder. That's accurate to plus or one meter, so it's a really accurate, really long range rangefinder. And they've changed the way the software works as well. So the bracket which you use to target is activated when you press the laser button and it will continuously read. It then automatically switches itself off at the end of that period so your screen isn't cluttered with that bracket and you've got a nice clear view of your surroundings. I have also adjusted the design of the lens cap. This is now fitted with a magnet so it can be attached to the hand strap to keep it out of your way whilst you're using it. So if we roll the unit over you can see there's a really ergonomic rubber grip that's been put into the bottom here that makes it comfortable to hold on to and use for long periods of time. If we head back to the top we've got the four buttons that control the unit. At the front there's the power button, that can also put it into a standby mode. It's worth noting that the Condor also goes into standby automatically as you drop it and it will boot up in less than three seconds. Something that Hike have really worked on is making sure that you can get this unit up and running really quickly. And coming back from the power button we've got the three main control buttons. The first is the laser rangefinder button, a quick press of that activates the laser rangefinder and it runs continuously depending how long you've set that for. So it runs between 30 seconds and a minute and a half. A long press of the laser rangefinder button starts a video recording. Coming back from that, we've got the menu button. A short press cycles through the different color palettes and you've got the usual four color palettes here. White hot, black hot, red hot, and the colorful fusion mode. This also uses Hick's new user interface where we've separated some of the menu items. So you've got your brightness and contrast and some of the options you access more frequently separated into a quick menu for fast changing and then all of the more detailed menu options are stored in an advanced menu which can be accessed as part of the quick menu. The last button on top controls the digital zoom. That allows you to move the unit from one to eight times digital zoom which sits on top of the optical magnification built into the product. In the viewfinder you'll now find that the unit displays the optical magnification or the equivalent. So on base mag this shows a two times magnification and if you go on to eight times digital mag it shows you it's 16 times magnification. So that's one change that Hick have made in their logic from this product to the previous generations. Coming to the back we've got the large viewfinder. It's really easy to use. It shows you a bright vibrant image for what the camera is capturing. We've also got the diopter adjustment, so you'll just set that once for your eye to make sure that your menu icons are clear and then the main image is adjusted using that wheel at the front. We've also got the battery compartment, that simply turns and twists off. We've got a single 18650 which gives you between four and four and a half hours of runtime depending which model you've chosen. So I touched on some of the new software features with the quick menu and the magnification You'll also find some new image boosting options in the menu. You've got Image Pro and Zoom Pro. They're able to sharpen the way the algorithm deals with the image and how it processes the zoom. So it's worth experimenting with those in different situations. You've also got things like image color and a lot more control over your 
overall image so you can tailor it to your preference. We'll be offering four models in the Condor series with two sensor options, the 384 and the 640 Pro. Both options use the Sub-20 NetD sensor, so that's giving you that high performance and highly detailed image. All the lenses use a high performance f1.0 lens. So those two combine to give you great performance, loads of image detail, and will perform really well if the weather's bad. So starting with the 384 sensor, we offer that in a 25 mil focal length, and that gives you a magnification of 2.5. We've got the 35 mil option with the 384 sensor, that's giving you 3.5 times magnification. Moving to the 640 Pro sensor, you get that lovely high resolution image, but it also knocks your base mag back slightly. So the 35 mil option gives you a two times base mag, while the 50 mil option gives you a three times base mag. So that was our quick introduction to the new Condor thermal monocular with LRF. These are in stock right now, so your dealers will be able to help with any inquiries that you've got. You can find your nearest stockist on our website, eliteoptical.co.uk. Please hit the button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest news from Hike Micro and all of the Elite Optical brands.